Today I'm going to teach you guys how to get dreadlocks like free from dreadlocks, salon dreadlocks. So you guys stay tuned, like this video, share this video with your friends and make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section. So the, the first method we're going to talk about is the palm rolling method, right? For the palm rolling method, what happens is that you divide your hair into sections, then you use a rubber clip like rubber bands to just hold your hair in the sections that you want. So subsequently, you palm roll your hair like this. Yeah, this is called palm rolling. It's quite simple. So you do that for all of your hair and then you just leave it with time. Your hair is going to form together. Your hair is, your, your hair is just going to like you know form on its own because once your hair is clean and you moisturize and you don't comb your hair with time your hair is going to lock on its own so you can use the palm rolling method which i also call, call the rubber band method so divide your hair in sections and then you band your hair and then you just leave it so make sure you leave the band the rubber band until your hair is like ready to lock on its own right. another method you can use to get dreadlocks is to start with two strand twist okay so um for me i started with two strand twist some people like to call it semi and um, free form locks but you can also call it free form locks whatever you want to call it it still falls on that what's the dreadlock side right so what happens is that you get um twist like normal two strand twist okay let's see if you can see my twist pattern uh, i'm not sure you can see my twist pattern Okay, maybe I'll insert a picture or something. So you get twist, like regular two strand twist, right? Then you leave your twist in. But when you leave your twist in, you have to make sure that you wash your hair, you moisturize your hair, and you oil your scalp. These three things, right? So make sure you also separate your roots because you don't want your roots to congo. You just want your hair to form single strand locks, right? So you get your two strand twist and then you leave them in. I mean it's basically that simple but another thing before you get your two strand twist okay people always ask me that oh how do I get my hair to be like this or like that that's a good one when you want to start your dreadlocks journey right it's just like starting your natural hair journey just that in this case for natural hair you can't really decide what your hair is going to become because I mean genetics and all of that but then for your dreadlocks you can decide to get thick dreadlocks you can decide to get tiny locks for me I have thick dreadlocks like there's the disadvantage there's the advantage i'm going to make a video on that so you have to decide okay this is how i want my hair to look right i want tiny locks so if you want tiny locks you know that you're not getting thick two strand twists right you're getting the tiny like really really tiny two strand twist so if you want the thick locks you know that when you get your twist your your twist should also be thick but it shouldn't be so thick because the rule of free from dreadlocks especially is that your hair is going to become like twice as thick as your twist so your original twist once your hair matures like in a year or a or some month your hair is going to be thicker than what the twist that you got so try to measure so get half if you want like a certain size it's best to get half the size of your desired dreadlocks like get half of that size in the two strand twist that you're getting right that's two methods palm rolling and rubber band two strand twist then the third method is similar it's almost like the second method right is getting the braids basically braids is just like getting normal asap rocky braids like those one one braids you know when you get your hair and you three stranded braids right so you divide your hair into sections that you want your your dreadlocks to look like you know and then you get your braids it's basically that simple for some people they are they are they are more particular about the pattern of their hair you know they want to have like um diamond shaped um patterns some people want to have box shape for me i have um free from dreadlocks so i really don't mind i don't care about the shape of my patterns because most times i can't even see my roots i can't even see my scalp unless i separate my hair so if you want um your hair to have like diamond shape or box make sure that when you're getting your braids or when you're getting your two strand twist the um your hairdresser or you yourself make sure you get your pattern let me see if you can see my pattern i don't really have uh, this thing. Yeah, my hair is all tangled in the root and stuff. Yeah, the fourth method for short hair. Once your hair is short, that's like the easiest way to get dreadlocks. Just stop combing your hair, right? 
they call, we call this the neglect method the neglect method is when you just stop combing your hair and then you boy make sure you wash your hair and you moisturize it your hair needs to be clean your hair must be clean so just stop combing your hair just ditch your hair comb for some time and then wash your hair and you move on with time your hair is going to form locks that's it that's the magical thing about black hair you don't have to do so much once you stop combing your hair i mean you stop tangling it your hair is going to tangle on its own when it's clean okay so another method for short hair is when you use um this foam there's this foam that boys use it has this um some holes in it i don't know what they call it but then if you have short hair you can just use that foam and you can just you know use it on your hair like this when you bath in the morning just apply it just just use it as as if you are brushing your hair or something with time it's going to help your hair form tiny tiny locks and they're going to just sprout on their own so that's another method for short hair because this this foam method cannot work on um, long hair once your hair is long you have to interlock get braids or twist or any other method you can't use that back combing or what what they call it, the foam method for long hair right that that works for only short hair okay so another way to also get dreadlocks i mean this is like the fastest way if in fact the fastest way to get dreadlocks is go into the loctician salon and then get your hair interlocked right you get your hair interlocked or you get instant dreadlocks two things so when you get your hair interlocked is when you use your own hair like you already have like an afro or something and then the loctician is going to separate your hair use some dread wax or some hair gel or whatsoever and she's going to interlock your hair so you're going to leave the salon with dreadlocks so you go in with an afro you leave with dreadlocks right but that is going to be with your own hair but the other method for people that have really short hair and they don't want to go through the ugly stage of dreadlocks and all of that you can get instant dreadlocks for the instant dreadlocks they, they have the um they have the very natural ones that's like me cutting my hair now and selling it then somebody's like oh i like this hair i want to fix it on my own hair it's like when girls get brazilian wig and those wigs like yeah you get human hair then there's the one that's almost like uh, a mix like almost like synthetic or so it's not really natural dreadlocks it's not also that's how they do it so i think the natural ones are more way more 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 expensive right so you get those ones you go to the salon she's going to fix them for you and then you just pay right so you have what instant dreadlocks you just have to go to your loctician and she's going to do it for you so either use your own hair or if you can afford another person's hair you can get another person's hair and they'll fix it for you so you get dreadlocks to another method right very very simple just identify your loctician identify the size that you want okay another problem that you might have with getting the instant dreadlocks is that most times the instant dreadlocks i've seen they all they almost always look alike like they almost always look the same they are almost like tiny or the same sizes you might not get the thick ones for the instant dreadlocks right so you probably have to grow them yourself so um but another thing that you guys should take note of is that for some people they are really confused when they when they get their dreadlocks first they don't know if they should wash it or they should neglect it for like weeks i advise you to wash your hair trust me make sure you wash your hair don't leave your hair for way too long before washing it no matter what anybody tells you make sure you wash your hair when you get your dreadlocks like after some time okay if you wash your hair it's not going to make the locks like come off it's still your locks are still going to be intact okay so um Something I want to say about the interlock when you go to the salon, right? When you go to the salon, make sure you meet a loctician that you trust. Make sure you meet somebody that can tell you what the person is adding to your hair. Because the way their locks work, they're like a complicated version of natural hair, right? Or also, I don't know, a simplified version or whatever you want to call it. But what I'm trying to say is that if you go to your loctician and the person uses a dread wax that is not good, that's not healthy for your hair, you're going to get build up. And trust me, build ups are nasty they are worse and getting linked in your dreads you don't want it guy you don't want it so when you get to your loctician make sure that she, she's able to explain to you that okay this dread this dread wax contains b wax is natural and all of that it should be something that you are able to wash out easily if you can't wash it out easily don't put it in your hair okay you can't wash it out easily there's no need to get it in your hair that's that's the rule of thumb when it comes to dreadlocks 
Okay, something that you should know about dreadlocks is that just like natural hair, I mean dreadlocks is also natural hair, but just like loose natural hair, okay? Your dreadlocks are going to be affected by your genetics, your hair practices, your sleeping method. Let me explain this sleeping method to you. I noticed that when I sleep on my back, right? When I sleep on my back, I get my my locks, those at the back, they, they get flat. So people people always say that oh they don't want flat locks. How can I avoid it? I'm giving you the tip now as you're starting your dreadlock journey. If you don't want flat locks, try not to sleep on your back or try to hold your hair up when you sleep on your back. Try to get your hair interlocked because I noticed that when you interlock your hair, it sort of like helps to you know give you that round um lock look. Another thing that you should take note of for your hair is that water, okay. Water is essential, but another thing is that hard water is very bad for your hair, both for your natural hair, both for your dreadlocks. And this is that when I use hard water, in fact, I stay in Lagos, Nigeria, the water hair is almost always hard. So if you can get a shower filter, that would be very, very nice. Or if you can use distilled water, if you can use rose water, that would be very nice because hard water contains a lot of minerals and all of that junk that your hair might not like, right? So try to use. Um, filtered water for your hair it, it goes a long way and that thing you can use is aloe vera aloe vera plant i preach this thing way too much but i don't even have it right so if you can get natural aloe vera plant scrape it filter it you can use it in your hair as a max okay you can do it once in a month or so it's going to really help you it's going to help your dreadlocks right then um another question i usually get for people that want to get dreadlocks and all of that they're always like oh can i lose it uh i just want to get it for some time i'll be honest with you right you can lose it but do you have the patience because i tell you I, I kid you not if your hair if you leave your hair for a very long period like if i lock my hair for two two years three years and i want to lose it's going to take me a lot of time like it's probably going to take me weeks and a lot of conditioner do you have time for that that's why a lot of people just cut their hair because they don't want to go through the stress of taking their hair and then picking it one after the other with combs so if you want to get dreadlocks for some time i advise you to just leave it in for six months or less let's say max minimum maximum nine months okay then you comb it out because if it stays longer, it's going to be so difficult for you to comb it out. I don't pass through that stress, right? So if you go online, on Instagram, on YouTube, you're going to see free from dreadlocks. You're going to see dreadlocks. You're going to see some people say semi-free from dreadlocks, right? I feel like dreadlocks is the, nat is the natural term for, like, the common and general term for matted hair, you know, natural hair that is just matted, you don't detangle, you don't comb. Then the free from dreadlocks, free from dreadlocks is when you don't go to the salon. Okay, I think the major thing is interlocking. When you don't interlock your hair, so the, the least you can do for free from dreadlocks, you can separate your hair. So you just take your hair and then after you wash, you did the separation, more like you're snapping your hair. So you just like, you snap your hair, get to your roots. You see, some people like to snap and then they will retwist it. So when they retwist it, they will palm roll it and all of that. It really depends on you. You can choose what you want. So for the free from dreadlocks, they don't go to the salon. So that's why people with free from dreadlocks, they look, they the, the hair looks different because everybody's doing something else. But people with people that go to the salon, they almost have the same look because you get your hair interlocked and interlocking your hair does the same thing to your hair it's just going to make it you know look that pretty tiny instagram fine like kind of right then the semi free from dreadlocks or the semi free from dreadlocks um people call those ones that started with um twist braids like myself people say oh this is semi free from dreadlocks because we had to twist our hair first like we chose what we wanted because people like to decide the size that they want and how many locks that they want it's more like an obsession i don't know it's in the lock community people do lock counting they say i have 56 locks i have a hundred i have 80. it really depends on you but generally don't get confused they are all similar the only difference is that some interlock others don't interlock but everybody you have to wash your hair moisturize your hair and seal your hair um okay you guys 
this is the end of the video if you have any question make sure you send me a message on instagram chidera steven or at um stolid underscore p or if you have your natural hair questions you can direct them to my hair page nappy c underscore thank you guys for watching this video make sure you share this video leave your comment in the comment section if you want me to make um any other video on freeform dreadlocks or natural hair make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section and you know i'll see you next time in my next video